Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a drugstore makeup haul that is very special. So many of you guys always ask for me to incorporate things that you can get overseas, not just in the States. So I feel like this will give me an opportunity to try products and recommend things that, you know, you can get over, over not here in America. And if you're here in America, then this will just be really interesting because it's things that I bought in Paris. I have a giant bag. I kind of went a little bit nuts. For me, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was just like, oh my gosh, new makeup everywhere. Things I have never seen before. This is so exciting. Everything was exciting. Actually, um, this happened. So uh, I am going to share with you everything that I purchased. And we'll just kind of, I don't, I'm not going to do this in a particular order. I'm just going to kind of like dive in, dig out, and we will talk about the products. I'm assuming that this is going to launch in the States eventually. This is the Infallible Primer. And you guys know I love Infallible products so much. The setting spray, the foundation, just anything Infallible. I'm like, yes, I love it. Infallible is a line within the L'Oreal brand. So anything that has that like stamp of like Infallible, it's going to be long wearing. I already know I'm going to like. And this was kind of a different primer in the sense that it's a more silicone based primer. And I just was really curious to see if it really lengthened wear time, helped application, made everything a little bit blurred. And I thought, why not? Maybe I would see this in the States. Maybe I wouldn't. So I grabbed it. Another L'Oreal item that I spotted that I was like, oh my gosh, more options. These colors are gorgeous. Reminds me so much size wise and presentation wise of the YSL palettes that are like a hundred bucks. But this one of course is not a hundred and you get so many pretty shades in here. And I'm excited to try this just because I do love L'Oreal eyeshadows. I also spotted that they had the Maybelline Eye Studio kits. Now I feel like I've seen these in the States before. Maybe they repackaged it or did something different, but I haven't seen this setup over here in ages. And this used to be a really great formulation. I know I've kind of griped about Maybelline eyeshadows that they really have not been as good as they once were. So maybe this is a different formula and it's something that I would love. I'm not sure, but I will give it a go. It's actually quite chalky. I'm gonna have to try this on the eye and see how it works. First impression though is that it's the same. Oh, gosh darn it. Maybelline, your shadows used to be awesome. What happened? Another item from Maybelline, but this is from a range that I really enjoy. This is the Master Sculpt. How cute is this? So you can just do all of your sculpting. You can even use this in the crease on the eyes, use it as eyeshadow. And then you have this gorgeous highlight over here. That's really pretty. Let's just put a tiny bit of that on right now. I'm so glowy today, but I kind of like it. So whatever, we're rolling with it. And then the gal working at Mona Pri who was in the cosmetics area, she was like, are you a makeup artist? And I think it's because I had like a basket full of makeup and you know, I told her I do YouTube, I review product and I'm looking for exciting things. And she said that this was the best for contour. It's an actual CC compact cream. So I think technically it's supposed to be a foundation but she told me that she sells this all the time as a cream contour and that makeup artists love this. So I'm gonna give it a try. It was not very expensive. It's by the brand Bijoun. Bijoun? Ugh, I hate that I just am so tacky like that. I can't even say the name of the brand. And it, ooh, that's really nice. That goes down to like a powder like that. Okay, I will try that out. And maybe I will do an update haul once I actually try everything. I just got really excited and I was like, I'm back from Paris. I need to show my friends everything that I bought. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. I also picked up a Rouge Edition Velvet from Bourgeois. And I've tried their makeup before. They actually used to sell it at Ulta. And... Ugh. It smells like fire. What? That's really pretty. It smells satanic why does this smell like wow who chemicals okay i might be dead by the end of this video but at least my lips will look cute from the same line that bijoun bigoon makeup this is a uh it's made in italy but it says paris on the front it's a paris sold brand and i picked up two eyeshadows 
again off the recommendation of the makeup gal who I became like instant BFFs with um, while shopping. I took way too much time clearly because I like bought half the store. Um, these two, I just think, oh my goodness, this is just an eye look right here, just immediate boom, like in the crease, on the lid, just gorgeous. And they do have testers of almost everything, which is really nice. They don't have that in the States. Um, so I was able to really, oh my God, look at that. I was able to really figure out for the most part what I was going to love. Holy crap, how beautiful. I love makeup so much. It's the weirdest fascination. I try to think like, I try to, to sit and think like, why, why do I love makeup so, so much? And I went to the Louvre while I was in Paris and wandering around and looking at art, I really genuinely feel it's because I watched my mom painting so much as a child and painting and coloring and art was such a big thing. So these are just my paints. You know, everything to do with makeup is not just how good can I look? It really is creative expression and it is art to me. So. I get very excited when I find good paints and this one is blowing my mind right now. I also got some Compede. It's not makeup, clearly. Feet. Um, I hate feet, ew. Ugh. Uh, anyway, this is for your feet so you don't blister when you're wearing your amazingly attractive shoes that are super uncomfortable and rubbing your feet in all the wrong places. I wish they would bring Compede over to the States. I discovered these like four years ago. Um, when I was visiting Fleur during an IMATS and I, like every time I see these anywhere traveling I always grab like a big handful because they save the day. I also got a little bit weird because I don't know. I mean you guys overseas if you come to America do you go into the drugstore and you're like oh my god pressed toothpaste <laughs> like I mean like it's something new and different it feels really exciting because it's new and different and but us over here we'd be like Okay, um, I think I got really way too excited about toothpaste and people were giving me some really weird looks in one of the pharmacies. I didn't get this from Mona Pri, I got this from a pharmacy near um, the hotel we were staying at. This is a whitening toothpaste with gold in it and I was just like, yes, I need this. I would love some gold toothpaste, please. So I picked this up. I have no idea if it's good or tastes weird or anything like that. And then you guys know I love Marvis toothpaste so, so much. Like I go way out of my way to order the ginger mint and the spearmint and I just love Marvis toothpaste. And one of my favorite flavors just in general in life is cinnamon and I didn't even know that they made a cinnamon mint Marvis. I'm so excited to try this out. I have like a pretty full tube of toothpaste going on in my bathroom so I'm gonna be good and like actually finish that and not just be like gold and cinnamon. But, um, um, when I do get to trying these out, I will let you guys know. Because yes, even toothpaste can be exciting. Okay, I also got some Bioderma wipes and this was a two pack. It was a buy one, get one free. And you know what? I don't like these. Um, I will use these just to like get rid of swatches on my hands, etc. But I think the Bioderma that's just in the actual jar is so much better and works way more quickly and easily to take off your makeup. I was actually quite disappointed with these. They smelled weird and they kind of burned. I do have to say the L'Oreal cleansing wipes, I got these right before hopping on the plane because I forgot to not pack my cleansing wipes because I like to take my makeup off when I fly. This is the Skin Perfection Nourishing Cleansing Wipes and this is for dry and sensitive skin. And it says it will remove even waterproof mascara. There's no alcohol in here. These are pretty bomb. Actually, I wish I had gotten more of these. I love the L'Oreal Micellar Water and um, this was the same kind of logo. So I was like, oh yeah, I liked that one. Maybe I'll like this. And this totally impressed me. I also got some DHC uh, mattifying oil blotting paper. I like DHC. I believe they're a Japanese brand. Yeah, made in Japan. Um, but they were in France and I don't see this brand here in the States. So I grabbed those. I also got a Bourjois Matte Illusion Bronzing Powder. Why is everything so hard to open? Let's try some, shall we? Let's bronze me up a bit. I am so pale right now. Well, it's really light. You can't really screw this up. I just dipped my nose in it. What the heck? Tati. 
really story of my life. Okay, I get too curious about everything and then something like that will happen. Uh, so this is, it has an SPF of 10. This is matte and what shade did I get? I got the lighter one. Yeah, I got fair, number 21. I also saw this and I was like, yes, because I like the cushion foundation so much from L'Oreal. They have a cushion bronzer. Obviously, I'm not going to like pile this on my face right now, but I am really excited to use this. So it's exactly like the foundation, except for this is a bronzer. Ooh, kind of looks like foundation. Um, but we'll see. No scent. I got some candies. I also picked up two of the L'Oreal Infallible concealers. I haven't seen these here in the US, so I thought, why not? I got another bronzer highlight. This is really similar to the Master Sculpt, and I saw a lot of compacts that were just like this. So this is kind of like a thing over in Paris, um, I guess. And then this concealer is actually what I'm wearing today, and I thought it was a little bit lighter than it is. I got number two. I didn't get the lightest one. I got the second lightest. And it's actually, it's not like a highlighting concealer. It really is just going to slightly brighten and really conceal dark circles. And I actually really like this. This is called the Radiance Reveal Concealer. It corrects and illuminates and provides 24 hours of hydration. And this is by Bourjois. Did I just go like bronzer crazy? I was just like, oh my gosh, so many sculpting bronzers, everything bronze. I picked up this Sun Illusion. This is a smooth and flawless tan. It's a blur perfecting cream tan. And I don't know, I thought this was kind of an interesting texture. And to put on the perimeter of the face and use it to kind of contour and bronze up the skin, I thought would be really interesting. So yeah, I don't see that every day here in the drugstores and I thought, why not? Let's try it all and let's just have 10 different bronzers on my face. Um, this one, again, that gal at Mona Pri, she really liked this line so much. She talked me into this one too. She's like apples of the cheeks everywhere, glow your skin up. So um, I will try this out. This is the complexion powder and it's just, it's got like a nice soft sheen to it more like a highlight. Her makeup looked really, really pretty and she was kind of pointing out all of the things that she loved. Clearly, I went a little bit out of control. I just wanted to try everything, sample everything, review everything, and share with you guys some different, more exciting things that I can't just purchase down the street because, you know, I went on a little bit of an adventure and I wanted to um, share the experience with you. I do also have a Sephora Paris haul coming up soon because you guys know, Whenever I travel anywhere, I have to check out a Sephora and see if they have different things, and they did. So I will be talking about that on Friday. Stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed taking a peek at all of the things I picked up during my recent travels, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, you can also check my videos out on watchable.com or by downloading the Watchable mobile app. Check me out, link is in the description.